Well, doesn't that look different there in the background? That's a lot cleaner. We've been cleaning house all this afternoon, cleaning up around the place, getting it all loaded. We've cleaned up here, we've got in and moved a couple of IBC pods out of the road, got the crane off the trailer and loaded all of our bins up. June's still in the process of pulling hard drives apart for the for the cast aluminium. Um, we've shifted the bins from, well, the 44s from where they were here to over there. Thought, well, give it a change, bit of change of scenery. So we'll be moving all of this too and probably pulling that shade cloth down and may even move all of this over here too. And we'll be getting to and cleaning all of this up as well. We thought, well, we need to clean it up. So we, that's what we're doing. We're getting to cleaning it all up. Still loading some of it here. We'll put some of these in here. There in there, that's our only radiators. Up there, that one there. That's it for those. We've got stainless steel here. Um, they call that 316 stainless, so I think that it is. Um, we've still got some aluminium radiators down there. We've got uh, 304 stainless there and down, down there. Um, we've got radiators everywhere, actually. Uh, we've got our 316 stainless here as well. Couldn't quite fit it all in, so we divided it all out. Uh, we've got a bit of in, in this one as well. There's also low grade insulated wire. We've got another bin just there uh, with that same stuff, low grade insulated wire. We have got the batteries on down. Oh, screw the lights. Here's some batteries here. They're all going from about here across, as you can notice, and straight up underneath all of this. Now, in this one here, I'll explain this one get back up here oh struth the light um, we've got our copper number two which they won't they don't class it as number two they just call it as domestic copper in some way number two or think um, we've got some ballasts here we've been doing a lot of computer power supplies and things like that we thought well it's a lot of effort to actually pull these apart we thought well give them a go on cinnamon as ballast because we've got all these from um, little mo um, the little washing machine mows you can't get apart and that sort of thing you can get them apart but it's a lot of time a lot of time and con very consuming on on time to actually pull them apart so we're just going to send them as they are because we've also got you know that one there he was one of those and that's what they look like inside there's not much in there so we're just going to send them as this um, we've also got down in here these little things here. Yes, I did see a video on how to get them apart. It looks so easy, but you do leave a fair bit behind. I'll give it, give it a go. And yeah, no, we're going to send it as it is. Um, now we've got some cast aluminium up here. Um, better grab that one. That's going to fall. Oh, screw the light. I still need to tie all this down. Um, I've done that bend, didn't I? batteries underneath like I explained um, here's the good stuff we've got uh, strip wire underneath those copper alley radiators there and that's a pure copper radiator that one so yeah we've got the good stuff underneath there and um, what else have we got we've got more cast alley there what do we got in this one I always forget what we've got I oh, extruded this good old rude extruded that's what June calls it, the rude struded. <laughs> but anyway, over here, I did manage to get all those brake drums on. I had to separate it as two lots. I do know, just in the brake drums alone, let alone in the domestic aluminium here, um, just in the brake drums alone, we're tipping close to 1700 kilos just with that that's without the 35 kilos for the pod there and 51 for the other one so we're pretty goddamn heavy with this one and i did weigh this before i put it on here it's only about 170 something kilos or something roughly around there with the uh, domestic element and the pod the pod's about 50 51 kilos somewhere around there i didn't write it on this one uh, but yeah, we're all tied down, strapped down. She's going to be a very slow trip to the scrapyard for this one. 
So, yeah, I've got to finish tying down over on the trailer over there and uh, put the old backhoe away, retire it for the day, and, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you all when I get to the scrapyard. I reckon I will. Anyway, talking about weights and all that sort of thing, I'm no heavier though. Well, when you talk about weight in, in weight wise, I'm o I am probably overweight, but in weight wise overall, it's no different to towing a caravan. Like a caravan itself, RV, probably two ton. I only know this because I do that myself anyway. So anyway, we are here. We won't be going away round to the wee bridge because they'll do it all in-house. All in-house for sure. They're here to pick up bins today. I better go and find out if they want me to back in or what they want to do. Probably best to back in. I'll park here first. I'm out of the road and we'll go and find out. I'd be leaving them on there until you get it down because you can't get them undone. Yeah, they're, they're holding it all on. <laughs> I had to actually, with that one, I had to stop about three times to, before I got here. Sharpy stuff to get out. Come on. There we go. I've got to get the go ahead here. There you go. <laughs> I think that's the easiest way. Oh, shoot of light. That's one. All right, now we're gonna move this crap out of the road. I stacked it. Played Tetris, mate. 
Yeah, you put that in there. I've got more here. And get it out of the road. Yeah, I'll put it in there. You can sort it out. Drag that out of the road too. Just because it's right there. You can class it as ballasts and stuff. Once you start tipping it out, that's what's inside it. So once you start tipping it out, it's got bloody. Uh, you get down to. I can't get freaking in. You can see it there anyway. Sometimes there's a little transformer in them, but there's a lot of shit in them too. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking ballasts. Yeah. Careful, message Hamish. Hamish will tell us. Hamish is the one that throws the Yes, I know. He's the one that gets paid more Yep. I get that battery out of the road. Oh, this is. Is it the bin you want? It's the one you're after. It's over 100 kilos. Over 100? Yeah. You want to bring it closer uh, or just tip it straight in? Winter. Just tip it straight in. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh. Shed low grade. <laughs> Shit! Yes. You don't want your dregs. Wouldn't weigh much anyway, would it? Oh. Bless you. Oh. Bless you. Well, if you want. I can leave that out. Yeah. I think he's taking that on the wheelie bin. Well, you're gonna you're gonna go and tear that out anyway. Yeah. Oh, that one's already weighed. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah but you're gonna. Yeah. yeah. I know. You know what you're saying. Well, I know what I'm saying anyway. <laughs> Put this over here. Go and load this crap back on now. They were after the insulator while they've done stuck take. So, I'm trying to get that done. They probably won't find me. Uh, Da, 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 da. Close that back up. Slam that back down here. Oh dear. Everything's fallen. Prop that like so. That there. That's right. We've only got to get that in. That stainless. That can go back in. That'll do. 
should be due. Add on to that. That's clean. Uh, I want the dirty stuff first. Dirty stuff, then put the clean on top. Like so, chuck the batteries back in. Literally chuck them in. They're going to take the IBCs off first anyway. That to there. Right, this one in. So that way we can only, we only need to put it back in after that. I'll leave it open of course. Now, we have, as you probably know, we've done a lot of cleaning up and that sort of thing. Can't get that shut, can I? No, battery down there. So, um, yeah, the, we're just trying to do a bit of a cleaning, clean up and that sort of thing. So, we haven't got so much crap. Well, it's good money crap though. That goes under there. Sweet. Go see what they're up to. Batteries. Batteries. That is damn, there's a lot of them. Oh, 13. Oh. Must have less plastic. <laughs> All good to go. I'm just sitting these out. Yeah, a lot easier than doing it all out there. You've already done that, have you? Yeah, that's done. I'll just put it outside. Oh, that's Where he's going? <laughs> Roaming around. About 170 kilos with that. What's that? I reckon it's about 170 kilos. That's my guess. Yeah, domestic. I was close. I said about 170 with that. That's not too bad. 171 kilo off. But see, you've got, probably got, just in that aluminium wire, probably five kilos. Adds up. Oh, yeah, you money in your pocket. Doesn't matter whether it's got the lacquer on. Uh, I think so, mate. No. Should be 51. <laughs> That's what I've got them all as. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Ooh, copper bus bar on that. Got a little bit in there. Might have extruded in that. That's cutting. Oh, probably be best. What do you got here? Put this end in, eh? I don't know. Give it a shake. Oh, yeah. I'll jump in it. What are we weigh on that? Oh, he's gonna wire it on it. Good oh. 51? 50! Hey! That's all right. Bit less plastic, mate. Or a bit less dirt. <laughs> all right, go get the other shit. Yeah, well, you can stack it there, stack it out there, don't matter. Windy. Right. I just can't get to the other side. So you have to put it down. Yep. Well, so I can get these straps off. Not that I'll be able to get these off anyway, straight away. Trying to make it a quick transition for them. 
Whee there, that is bloody heavy. Oh, just about to knock myself in the face. That's that one. That's over there. Jump up and grab the other. Get these off. Bonus. All right, let's go see how much we actually weigh this stuff. Put them on the floor. I thought you were going to stack them both on top. How much? Holy dooly. <laughs> That's on one side. <laughs> Damn. I got the straps off the other one now. That's a bonus. The other one HMS too, is it? Ah, uh, yeah, mate. Oh, that's why I thought you might have weighed them both at the same time. Save doing two. Don't matter. That's how it's working for you. That's all it is. What's that? That's how you work it for it. Right Copper bus bar right there. Just a bit. <laughs> Another two there. There's a lot through that. Are they from the Telstra batteries or what are they? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, contractors doing Telstra. Three yeah. ounce. They wouldn't. When the batteries get to seven years, they've got to replace them whether they're good or bad. Oh, okay. <coughs> he said all these are perfect, nothing wrong with them. I'll take one. <laughs> yeah, just tell us to get rid of them. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take one, not pallet, one battery. <laughs> Holy dooly. 888, 988, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had some weight on there, didn't I? <laughs> Damn! I know how to bring it in. <laughs> Stockpile, see? You gotta hoard it. <laughs> now you want me to back in? Oh, uh, that one will. That one's just fine. That one, I, I'm not too worried because the bottom's a bit buggered anyway. So, oh, yes. yeah, that one, uh, that one there, she's buggered around the top edge, she's buggered underneath. So if it does, I'll just put it as pressing steel. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take it off there. Whatever. I'm gonna go, I'll, I'll back in slowly. Yeah. I can't push it in any further. <laughs> it's up to you. I can't say or anything. I just bring it in. <laughs> See, when you're getting down to laptops and stuff, this one here, yeah. that's your bloody main board. Oh, you can stand on it if you want. <laughs> I'll let you. I don't think I need them anymore. Yeah. 
Nah, I don't think he does. <laughs> Got some bloody shit in it. These were LED lights. Yeah. I can't get that crap off unless I get a blow torch out. Right. Down to this one. We've got a mixture in here, bro. Full copper. Brady. That's the only one I got. That's full copper. So that's just solid copper. Solid copper. Oh, does it? Oh, you, I wish I'd known. It's only a kilo. Yeah. It's still worth $9.60. Oh, well, yeah, I'll put the $9.60 on. <laughs> <laughs> hell, hell yeah. <laughs> and then we got copper, copper reds. Copper reds. Oh, hell, copper radios? Yeah. Then the good shit, <laughs> the strip stuff. And then we got uh, extruded last. How did you know it was good as the bloke we had last week? Well, what's that? Left here with three greens, and dropped off three greens with a strip of white. Oh, no, I'm not that good, come on. <laughs> oh, I gotta wait for you. That tub won't weigh a bloody thing. Told ya. <laughs> I didn't expect it to. <laughs> that will. Now you get some big guys, I know. Right, that can go straight into that. Won't leave that behind then. <laughs> I know what you got on your brain. in it. That one there, 10 kilo. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't 10 kilo, it was like 10 kilo. Extruded alloy. Uh, not on that one, no. What you saying? There's a couple of tainted in here. Nah, so if I And actually, I was told that can go with it. Yeah, we, what, Jeff, we got told the same thing the other day. Yeah, it goes with it. Because all it is, they've all heated that up. Yeah. That's all they do, they heat it up. Yeah. So probably like, what, because we've been told so many times that the painted stuff's domestic. It's not now. Well, it's not now. According to Dean. Yeah. <laughs> Things are changing though. Yeah. Probably because of where they're sending it. Yeah. But it kills us because you get told one thing and then, once and then you, yeah, you go, oh, I exactly know else. where you're and going. You and he's like, why is that there and why is that there? And yeah, and then you're going to resort well, it. That's and that's where I got told, I guess. <laughs> 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 All the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it. Exactly. Well, I've never done it since I've been coming. Oh, me and you have separated like five bins since I've been here. <laughs> coloured and non-coloured. That happens. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> the good thing about being here, you don't need to go to the gym. <laughs> you probably wouldn't know it. Still gay, but... No, nah, because you're doing a lot of lifting, see? <laughs> She's pretty... 
<laughs> That's it. True that. Fifteen. I didn't even look at the scales. It's the plastic. Right. Wherever, it don't matter. Don't care. Right, now you just gotta sort that one out. And that's it. Oh. Because it's got a mixture of bloody other stuff in there. I'll put it on there anyway. Yes. Oh, I lost my strength there for a second. Um, bust the old back. <laughs> so that isn't no good to us at all. We don't even want unless they unless you want to break open the I'll bring a bin back. Yeah, them. we'll do that. <laughs> but it's only the ones with the They're all on the transformer in it. They're all on top. Oh, you'll be still chucking if you keep chucking those bloody ones. Which ones did I chuck? That. That one. <laughs> <laughs> you got one over there, you just coloured one. I, I must have grabbed it by the fucking That's good, bud. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah, you got another one down there too. <laughs> See, big hands. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. They were only on top anyway. Yeah. See, I thought they would have went just as ballast stuff. Yeah, that's it. You had seven kilos of those little fuckers. <laughs> there's a lot of weight in them. Yeah, there's 53 kilos when we put it on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know where you're going with that. <laughs> Get a wheelbarrow. Save carrying the bloody thing. Oh, you could have stayed on there and weighed it again. <laughs> I want my bag back. Any chance to get me bag back for me brass? What's that? Can I get me bag back for me brass? It's the only bag I got. <laughs> Five kilo. Yeah, okay, that's more than what the bloody whole lot was. <laughs> Come off the grass. I said two kilos, didn't I? I don't know how many were on that one. No, you can't. Can't ride on that bugger. She's black on black. Not unless you've got a white marker. Yeah, you haven't got a bin, have you? What's in that green crate? It'll overflow that one. Got any grass? Pretty clean. <laughs> you call that clean? That's the same shit. There you got it. Hey, trying to help you, but I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get, don't want to get me mitts in there and get it on the road. Yep. Cheers, bro. Right now, I can. 
Yeah, you can do the pods. I'll go outside. So that way you can load them on. So how much do we get? Better do the dock it out and stuff like that. Yeah, so we're going to deduct our time out of it. Oh, yeah, go away. Come uh, off the grass. <laughs> Me and Ruben are worth a thousand bucks each, so you're going to get $831. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. I brought a lot in. Five bucks up in your duck, mate. All the heavy lifting. 3,000 kilos. Uh, what's your BJ? BJ. BJ or yeah, BJ? Yeah, B, B for Bob, J for Jam, 18 KB. KB, B for KB. Bob. That's it. What the hell? <laughs> uh, he does it every single time. What's he do? It doesn't bring the price across. Oh. PVC. I don't know why. That's why it's not telling you. Yeah. $2.40. That's not too bad for the PVC. Yeah, your price will go up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well I said to said to the wife, oh probably three grand for this load. <laughs> Pen's gone too, damn. <laughs> I'm in no hurry, he's got to go unload that shit yet. Cheers, bro. Grab my bins. Still gotta unload all this stuff. Get my IBCs back. I might spin that around, I don't want it like that. See if that one's going to survive. It's a lot of weight in that one. Tie all this down yet. If that one survive or don't survive, I'm not too concerned. We'll see what happens. Probably break, fall in. Might be lucky. Because I've welded the bottom. That's a good one, that one. Damn good one. Alright. That on the bed. Gotta move this strap. I weld at the bottom of it. What's that? I weld at the bottom of this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Set it there, I'll, I'll put it in place. 
Go up. Yeah, I know. Well, made it home safely, safe and sound. So, um, yeah, we didn't have too bad of a day out. Coming home with a good pay packet. But anyway, let's get down to formalities, how much everything was, in how much weight there was, and how much we're getting for each item. Right, so we had aluminium radiators clean, 22 kilos, a uh, dollar a kilo, <coughs> excuse me, $22 in total. Uh, PVC coated copper low grade wire, 148 kilos, $2.40 a kilo, 355.20. Uh, domestic aluminium, that was the IBC pod, the big square one, 121 kilos, $1.70 a kilo. I thought it might have been a little bit more than that, but we're bringing home $205.70 for that one. And Heavy melting steel, HMS, I thought they would have put that down as inside these two OBC pods with the truck rims. One was, uh, the first one they weighed was 843 kilos. You can say two, a 0.285 cents of a kilo. I don't know how they put that five in there where a bit decimal point would go anyway. $240.26 for that one and at... This one was the same, HMS. The other IBC was heavier. With, that was the one with the half a half a IBC. It was actually heavier than the full one. So 953 kilos there, same price. 271.61, as you could probably see previously. Uh, stainless steel solid, 304. I think this one was the clean stuff. I'm not sure. They should have had it at a 316, but... Uh, yeah, it's the way they've worked it. We had 48 kilos, $1.60 a kilo, $76.80. Uh, stainless steel solid. This is the dirty stuff. Definitely the dirty stuff because I know it was a lot heavier. Uh, 87 kilos, $0.80 cents a kilo, uh, $69.60. Where are we up to? Ali cast is it? Al Ioni, aluminium Ioni is it? Yeah. Six kilos, 70 cents a kilo. That was Ioni Ali. $4.20. I didn't have much of that. Brass cast. That's all of our brass we had. 47 kilos. Took, took it in in a bag. $5 a kilo. Pretty good price. Was mixed. Did have a bit of rubber and stuff in there. So that's why they, they did downgrade it a little bit, but not much. It was only about oh, 10 cents or so anyway. Uh, $235 neat there, pretty damn good for what we had. Uh, copper electric motors, 15 kilos. So if we take copper motors in, it's only 90 cents a kilo, so sometimes it's best to take them apart because you get more money. $13.50 uh, for that one. Copper domestic tank, uh, that's the domestic copper. Uh, that's where we pull motors apart and put it down as that sort of thing. 73 kilos, $9.20. That's what I gathered it would be. 671.60. Then we've got another copper domestic. I think that might have been, I don't know what that one would have been. Can't remember. Copper domestic. I'm trying to think. 20 kilos anyway. Same price, $9.20. Another $184 for that one. I'd have to go back through the video to find that one out. Now, batteries, I did pay out. On batteries, $100 for batteries here. So we're in a win here. Uh, $489, $489 kilos, 55 cents a kilo. I only charged the person, well, the truck depot, 30 cents a kilo. So I come out as a win there. Um, it worked out a little bit dearer than 30 cents a kilo for what I paid for because uh, I didn't have change. So we came home with, basically, once I paid the $100 out, I, we came home with $168.95, and then you add the $100, so it's $268.95. Uh, alley cast, aluminium cast, oh, that's a cast alley. Uh, 109 kilos, I say it backwards, $1.65 a kilo, seven, it's $79.85, getting tongue-tied here. Aluminium copper reds clean, 
three kilo, five dollars a kilo, fifteen dollars. What are we up to next? Copper wire strip. This is the good stuff. I tell you what, price is going up a bit in this one, but I reckon the price will drop by the end of this month anyway. So I think I got it in at the right price. 19 kilos out of that, and we went through as $12 a kilo. I thought it might have been about $12.50, but no, it wasn't. So that's all of our strip wire, $228. Pretty good for that one. And we had extruded. June's rude. Extruded, 50 kilos, $2.30 a kilo, $115 for that one. And fridge compressors, well, that was the ballasts and that sort of thing that we had in the black bin. Uh, 44 kilos, they made me take out all the um, computer power supplies and that sort of thing because they didn't want them at all. 70 cents a kilo, $30.80. So that's a grand total of weight and dollars at weight was 3097 kilos and we came home with $3187.70 not too bad at all so all in all that was a pretty good day out and we've actually cleaned the shed up so there is a video coming out next week on what we've done how we've done it and everything like that and all the all the stuff like that but anyway um if you've come this far don't forget to like and subscribe if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you get notified when we put a new video out so till next time everyone happy dumpster happy scrapping and we will see you in the next one cheerio